Hey Capricorn Collective, welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. I'm going to move y'all down a little bit. All right, let's get into your reading. We are doing a good news reading. Only good news. What's the good news coming for the Capricorn Collective? Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Flip it if you need to. Could be past, present, or future energy. What's the good news coming for my Capricorns? My fellow Earth sign. Second house, Taurus energy. First house, Aries energy. Okay. <laughs> Some of y'all, y'all material needs. We got the number 39 and 40. Could be someone's ages. Could be your age. Um, so there's something here that you have been trying to manifest. Something about the way that you're looking, changing the way that you look, changing the way that you appear. Because this is about the ego. This is what the world sees when they look at you. The first house. It says arrival. There's something right now taking place when it comes to your appearance. Or appearances, like the way that people see you. Okay, so we have your second house here, which is Taurus energy. The number 40 is on the card. It says resources, so your money is about to be abundant. Wow. A lot of money coming in for you. Unlimited resources. Some of you may be making changes to your appearance um, because you have this money. Maybe buying a new wardrobe, maybe getting some kind of surgery or... Um, <clears throat> Maybe buying a new car, a new home, something. Because you have some extra money coming in here that you're not even expecting some of you. But it says the arrival. Arrival of resources which is what you got. I love it. Good news for, look at this. Queen of Pentacles, your own energy. So you're in your Queen of Pentacles energy. Four of Swords, some of you are coming out of period of respite, like a rest. You're like coming back to the world. You're ready to face the world again. This is Libra energy, Capricorn energy, but it could also be Taurus and Virgo energy. So your financial stability is here, baby. This is Capricorn energy. So come out as the Queen of Pentacles with the Force was in reverse. Some of y'all are coming out of something. Could be healing from some kind of injury or something physical. I feel a physical appearance. I told you some of you could have had surgery or be thinking about getting surgery. You may be using money to get surgery. Hmm. This is stability and security financially. Some of you run a business or you will, or you just have a lot of success in your career and finances. You're looking good financially. Couldn't make it up. Oh, we got the two of swords in reverse. Leave our energy. What is this all about? Why is the two of swords in reverse? Six of wands. You're overcoming some kind of indecision. Something you've been torn about something maybe you've been avoiding or ignoring you're making a decision about it and whatever the, your decision is this is leo energy whatever your decision is could be happening in leo season you may be getting over um i just heard getting over some kind of like you know how somebody's in a slump i just feel you're getting over that with this four of swords and then this two of swords in reverse something you were refusing to let go of or change or do or say you're going to do it now and you're going to be victorious the six of wands is someone in the spotlight some of you can have aspirations to be in the spotlight. Maybe you run a business that's connected to, I don't know, entertainers, celebrities, Hollywood. But this is also success, victory, positive um, energy, like being admired. There could be someone here that wasn't choosing you that's about to choose you now. Or maybe you're about to choose someone that's been admiring you. Maybe on social media or something. Somebody may be cutting their options to be with you with this two of swords. In reverse, maybe they were indecisive. Okay, let's see. Good news for you. Strength card. And the Ten of Swords. Hmm, so you are finding the strength to overcome some kind of painful ending. Could be with a Gemini. Could be with a Leo. And you're doing it with love. You don't have a chip on your shoulder. You ain't got no bitterness up in you. Like, you're really content. You're really compassionate. I feel like a lot of you have, have forgiven someone who's hurt you. And it has set you free. You're very much in um, a very controlled, um, strong-willed energy. But you're operating from a place of love. This is the infinity symbol here. Something has come full circle. Could be someone that ended things with you. They're actually getting some kind of um, karma. They may be sitting in regret right now. They may be feeling like they should not have ended something with you. But a lot of you have found your peace about it. You're not worried about it. You're a peacemaker. You don't want any conflict right now. You're coming through as very peaceful. We got the moon here. Something's unknown. Cancer Pisces energy. What's unknown? Why do I feel like somebody apologizing to you? 
Okay, so we have the Seven of Swords. The Six of Swords try to come out too, which is somebody maybe trying to heal a connection. But there is something here that you're getting over. You're really getting over it because it has something to do with maybe an Aquarius or Cancer or Pisces or Gemini or any of these signs. There's something you're being resourceful. You're being resourceful. I feel like you channeled your, your energy, anything negative you experience, anything that's been like uncertain or anybody keeping secrets from you or hurting you by something coming coming to light, your intuition right now. Some of y'all, this is your career and this is why you have this plane of pentacles. Your intuition, you could run a business that has to do with intuition, maybe divination, maybe you read cards as well. But I feel like you're being resourceful. You're trying to get your resources together or you're trying to... um. Align yourself with the right people and opportunities by using your intuition. So it's like even things, even though things are unknown right now, you're okay with it because there's some success waiting for you for sure. You're leaving something behind. Some of you have left a connection that wasn't healthy for you, or you're about to. We have the four of wands celebration with the page of cups. Some of you, if, you, if you've been in separation from your child or children, you could be coming back into union with your, your child or your children. Somebody could be at a distance. Maybe you have a child that's like, I don't know, in school, somewhere else or something. You haven't seen your child or your children for some reason. I feel a reconnection because this is like a family reunion, a happy family. And this is the page of cups, which talks about a child or children. Some of you could be like healing a relationship even with your parents if it's not your children. Maybe thinking about it or there could be a connection that involves children, a household, a family, a marriage that's coming back together. Um, something could be happening tomorrow on the 4th of July. Maybe you're getting together with your family to celebrate. You could be meeting someone if you're single at some kind of function, a family function, like an outsider, obviously. We ain't into no weird stuff. Um, like, you know, say, for instance, you have a family member who brings one of their friends and that friend ends up liking you. Somebody's going to have a crush on you. You're going to meet them at a party or a celebration. This is the good news. So show me two more cards, please, for Capricorn. Just two more. Okay, temperance. Yeah, you're very peaceful. I told you that with the strength card. A lot of you, you're emotionally stable and maybe you haven't been for a while with the queen of wands and you're looking good too. Told you, you're making changes to your physical appearance. Some of you have made some changes to your body recently and people are noticing. You're very self-controlled right now. You're very compromising. You're very fair. Um, a lot of you could be Coming out of some kind of addiction, we do have the Ten of Swords here and then the, the Temperance card is here as well. Somebody could be overcoming addictions. This, this could be you. This could be a maternal figure. It could be a child. Somebody's coming out of something. There's some kind of healing taking place. Some kind of healing is taking place. Some of you also have creative projects, maybe some travel. Um, what else do I see here? You could be getting into yoga or meditation. That's definitely a lot of peace that's about to come over you. I feel like you don't even see a lot of it coming. You could be attracting someone who's really attractive. A lot of you right now, you're just looking good. You're looking good. You're feeling good. And I feel like you want to attract somebody new. And some of you could be reconnecting with someone you've already been with. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or an Aries. Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, Taurus Energy. This is your money. Ace of Pentacles, your money is looking amazing. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you have a new job, new car, new home, new financial blessing coming in. Some kind of money is pouring into your life. Look at the similarity. Look at all those coins and then look at all these pentacles. Your money is looking excellent, Capricorn. Let's get a piece of advice for you. This is beautiful. Piece of advice for my Capricorn experience. Just one, just one card, please. Oh, you can't, you can't make it up. Woman holding a coin. I just told y'all your coins is looking good, baby. <laughs> coins is looking good. Look at all these pentacles. There's the woman holding the coin. The other uh, coin. The coin. Number 42 could be someone's age. Some of you, the person that you're going to end up in a relationship, there will be a two or three year difference between you two. Yeah, there will be a two or three year difference. Now, let's go back to this, to this book. Because um, 
I didn't even read this book to y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. I cheated y'all. I didn't read the book. How did I not do that? So let's read resources and end your reading here. <laughs> this book, um, the pages are 96 and 97. Could be when someone was born. The year 1996 or 97. Your action right now is to explore how you feel about money. So many people on the spiritual path have mixed feelings about money. Their bodies and possessions drawn to abundance and at the same time wrestling with guilt or discomfort around desire. This approach avoidance conflict around the material world can make it hard to focus on your efforts and it may seem i'm sorry it may send out mixed messages until the universe doesn't know how to respond to help you the second house asks you to build a clear and congruent message about your relationship to your resources that you can stand behind with integrity okay matter is uh, is our sacred vessel for spirit explore your attitude toward your first resource your own body and sensuality and remember we had your first house here which is the ego self again how you present yourself some of y'all are definitely making changes physically um let's see look for that place of balance where you honor and respect your physical form as well as the importance of the soul that inhabits it invest your energy to what what you value this is where you can be a re resource to others and this is where you can get paid clean up your act in the material world clean closets pay bills deal with other practical things that might appear mundane but can be a sacred act of aligning the soul to the surroundings integrity creates a welcoming ground for bounty come up with a clear integrated message to radiate out then back that up with action. Your challenge right now might be what you see is not all that there is. If you are looking for emotional and spiritual satisfaction in your stuff, it will never be enough because it never quite scratches the itch. And your gift right now is your skills, your resources, and your interests can all be sacred if you make an offering of intention and engage your work for the benefit of all sentient beings. So some of you with this Queen of Pentacles, she's an Earth Mother. Some of you could do something that has, have, your work may have something to do with nature, may have something to do with the environment, um, animals, the well-being of the planet. That could be something that some of you are into. You like humanitarians. Um, sustain, sustainability could be important to you right now. But I just can't get over you pulling the card, woman with holding a coin, because that's what you're about to be holding. The money is looking good for you. I want your reading. <laughs> I mean, you pulled my card the second house, right? Some of you could be connected to a Taurus or um, have Taurus placements in your chart or Aries. I'm going to leave it there. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Peace.